Okay, so one of the things I've learned when it comes to the world of business is the fact that there are quite a number of things that you are looking for that are even closer to you than you realize it. It could be that um, you, you have been looking for a particular opportunity and you feel that because Mr. A got the opportunity in a particular way and you feel that that is the same way you are supposed to get that opportunity. But life does not really present itself in such a way. And uh, there is a saying that most of the solutions that we are looking at, looking for, are actually looking at us. But they are just waiting for us to be able to recognize such solutions. So, and there's another saying that says that um, the level of intelligence that create a particular problem is not the same level of intelligence that can solve that particular problem. And that is not further from the truth in any way at all. Because for you to solve a particular problem, the solution is older than the problem itself. And it requires you to have a higher level of intelligence, higher level of maturity thinking for you to be able to resolve that problem. So my name is Okwe Oluwa Uni, and um, today we are looking at the fourth part of a series that we, we started about um, unlocking the world from your dormant property. And um, we looked at quite a number of things um, from yesterday's video, and um, we said that for you to unlock the world from your property, there's one singular thing that is very, very, very important that you must do and that which is there are two options before you okay there are reasons why this world has been dormant or is dormant currently you need to solve that particular reason and you trying to solve that particular reason will require a lot of funding however for you to require to, for you to get those funding done or to lobby for those things to get done you then needs to take it a notch for that you can decide to sell that property sell part of the property or put the property up for cash flow purposes so um, that's where we stopped yesterday and we've looked at four things uh, four things you need to do or how you can really put um, those our property up for properties uh, for sale rather and um, so today we are just going to continue on that journey and the next thing is that you need to involve the local CDA. You know, we, the, the last way I stopped was that you need to engage um, the agents within the community. But today, uh, we now need to look at you engaging the local CDAs. Yes, there are community guys that are within that locality that you can engage. For instance, now, I remember we had a property somewhere, we're developing a property somewhere in Maguro, outskirts of Lagos. And for us to move forward with that particular property, to make any significant progress, we needed to have a meeting with the CDA chairman. And the CDA chairman gave us a lowdown of what is going on there, what are their challenges are. And from some of those things, we realized the future of the property was before us. And we were able to say, okay, this is actually a lockdown uh, wealth. And um, these are probably the things we need to do for us to unlock the wealth within that same set of property and the options were before us and we decided to see okay which of the options are we going to be going for okay so that in itself uh, uh, speaks volume that in itself speaks volume of what to do and of what not to do okay so you need to f involve the local cda most of the time when people are doing their due diligence the local cda is part of the people they are doing the due diligence with so you have to be involved with those local cds you don't want a situation whereby you are not fully engaged with the local cd let them know you let them know that you own the property let them know the status of the property your intent of the property and you need to play smart with them because sometimes too they can be the one instigating the problem that's all the reasons why some of these uh, uh, properties are not helping you to create the wealth that you desire and the more other reason why you need to, to always engage this CDA is also because you want a situation whereby collective effort can push more things 
than just individual effort. I hope that makes a whole lot of sense to you. Then number next is include good compensation. Okay, you want to sell something? Include good compensation. Right? Somebody says something that if compensation is right, package a sheet and it will be the best seller. If the compensation is right, package a sheet and it will be the best seller. Okay? Good compensation motivates. The market is competitive. The market is tough. The market is uh, the same market you are playing. Others are playing in it and they are ready to hit you up. It's more of a dog eat dog market. So you need to package a good compensation that will help you a great deal. Okay? So you don't want a situation whereby the guys that are pushing your property are not even confident enough to push that property because they don't even know what is in need for them. They must know what is in need for them. That is very, very important. Nobody will push a property that he or she is not even sure of what is in need for them. So if I sell this property for 100 million naira, what is in need for me? Am I getting 10%? Am I getting 5%? Am I getting 20%? I need to know. Okay, and the the, uh, the larger the compensation, the quicker your property goes. These are some of my own experiences. Okay, number seven is that be flexible and consider instrumental payment. Yes, you know because of the, the, the state of the economy, sometimes instrumental payment might just be the way people want to really go about some of these things. So people see it as a good deal when there is instrumental payment involved because people don't see it, uh, it, it that means i don't need to access credit to be able to buy this project or get involved in this product or be able to um, um, access this opportunity so instrumental payment look at most of these guys that are selling this so-called money that are selling their property some of them collect money over a year these are properties that have been there with them with decade generation after generation they have not been able to sell and somebody is ready to pay them something over a period of time that speaks volume that's what speaks volume that speaks a whole lot of volume so you need to look at that too because if this property is dormant is a dead capital with you is as good as nothing so you collecting money over a period of time <coughs> speaks a lot of volume okay so you need to really really pay um, critical attention to that for instance now you decide to say okay 25 percent up front then after that 25 percent up front then you move right you move to other payment plan you move to flexibility in collecting the remaining balance for instance you can decide that after the 25 percent payment up front you can be collecting money on a monthly basis quarterly twice once in two months so it depends on you and being flexible will make your property very 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 attractive to prospective investors and you'll be able to unlock your cash from that property okay are we together okay so think of an effective a cost effective way to increase the value of your property i remember i met somebody sometimes they want to sell a property and one of the things he said he was going to do was he was going to clear all the front thing and create a road network within the property so that people can know that this property is not a swamp ability to do that he sold almost a thousand acres within a month this is an omonile guy but he said most of the time when people are coming to check out the property a piece of land about a thousand acres people are always complaining no there will be swamp at the back there will be swamp at the back and he said there's no swamp here guys let's pick up this property but what he did was a very simple he got a bulldozer cleared the old front the front looks big and attractive and he mapped out a road from the beginning of the land to the end of the land and he, do, he did it vertically he did it diagonally so people can drive into the land people can drive into the land and that changed the dynamics of that land totally because he was able to convince people that this is actually a good table flat land with no swamp and it's a good investment for people so things like that might not cost you a ham and a leg but it automatically change the perspective and the value of the property before the people that want to buy and number nine is consider joint venture so you own the property get somebody else that will buy that property get somebody else that we invest in the property or 
develop the property, bring it up to speed. They can do housing, they can do recreation center, they can do a whole lot of stuff. Okay, so one other thing that you can do after considering joint venture, a whole lot of stuff on joint venture. Maybe I'll do a separate video on how you can go into joint venture, maybe some other times, okay? So consider events and open house. For instance, um, I, I remember consulting for someone and I, he said he has this abandoned property. It will take um, some couple of millions to finish it. Can people buy it at the state? It is. He has done power. He has done most of the mechanical work that has been plastered. The windows has been fixed. Doors has been fixed. So, so some little fittings that is what is required. I told him, see, guy raised a social amount of money, put a party together within that place and pitch bring, invite all the people that can help you bring people and all the people that can buy at that very 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 event and he did that and um, boom at that very event 50 percent of the property he was able to raise money from the people that locked down 50 percent of the property and he was able to finish the whole property okay so my name is remains of Oluwa Oni and We'll be looking at the we'll be looking at the um, how to unlock wealth from your real estate. Okay, remember two things your real estate must do for you: capital appreciation to create wealth for you, and also it must give you cash flow. If your real estate is not doing any of these two things, that means your piece of property is either dormant or it's just residing there as a dead capital, and you don't want to have the dead part capital in your portfolio. Okay, so um that will be the end of this very very part so we'll be looking at the next part shortly hopefully tomorrow you'll get to see the next part so my name still remains of Oluwa Oni. and remember you can win don't let anybody tell you that you cannot win so play big so that you can win big bye for now